Hello everyone, welcome to another GIS and mathematics lecture video. And in this video, I want to present an alternative way of defining what a radian is um, that I think sort of gives it its own definition separate from the 360 degree definition that we provided before. And it also sort of makes clearer this argument that I made that radians are really useful for measuring the length of arcs as well as the area of sections of a circle. And what I want to do here is I want to start off with, with a circle. Um, I know my drawing skills are not great here, right? but I want to start off with a circle with a center. And what I want to do here is we have a radius of R. Right? And just to sort of refresh your memory in case you're not familiar with the geometry of a circle, right? the radius is basically the distance from the center of the circle to any point on the circle. And what I want to do is I want to say, for example, right? so we have a radius of r. Well, what happens if we start at this radius where this radius hits the circle and we travel along the circle r distance? Right, so this red arc here is of length r, this radius is of length r, and then we can draw another radius also of length r. Right? So we have two, radi two radiuses of length r connected by an arc that is also of radius, that is also of length r. Right? Hopefully you're understanding me here. We have a radius of length r, we have a arc length of r connected by at the other end by another radius. The key thing here is that this angle, right, this angle here, I'm pulling this out so you can see, this angle here, this is the definition of one radian. So this is the alternative definition. This is actually the definition of a radian, right? The, the going from the initial side all the way around back to the same, we said that was two pi, right? That's sort of a, a useful conversion definition. But the functional definition of a radian is the angle created by going some length along the circle equal to its radius. Right? It is the angle that is subtended by an arc of a circle of length equal to its radius. Hopefully that makes sense. And the reason this is important is because this ratio of arc length r to radius r to the angle of one radian, this is consistent for any size circle. Right? r could be 1, or r could be 12, or r could be 13. Right, and this, this ratio of one radian is the angle, this angle will never change. Right? If you connect the radius, go along the circle that same length, and then connect it back, right, that subtended angle will never change. And so we can use this idea to measure this arc length, or and any arc length. Hopefully that makes sense, and we're going to go through some examples in the next video. Thank you.